What up, my good peeps? What a gorgeous day today. Got some unboxing to do. This is the Velo Orange layback seat post. Now, it lays back, but it's not that noticeable, which I like. And the one inch that it does, does lay back makes a huge difference. I'm telling you, solid, solid piece. Now, when you order it, the only place I've seen them was, has been eBay. You might be able to get them somewhere else. Man, solid piece. It lays back about an inch, which it makes a big difference if you run one of these. You'll, you could tell, you could definitely tell. Straight from the UK, United Kingdom, and it takes about three weeks to get it. So if you need it quickly, you better order it early. I get these off of e uh, eBay and I run them on both of my bikes. This here is uh, Brooks, England. This bad boy right here is around 120 bucks now this is the brooks england imperial which i think is going to be a lot better for the break-in period and this is going to be fire i rode rode on one of these at a ride out and it was not painful the other ones are painful until you break them in these have a little slit so it gives, you know, when you sit on it, 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 it flexes. So these right here, these just go into the side, has these little holes. I'll probably put those in there, but this is a bad piece, bad piece right here. If you get a Brooks seat, make sure you get the Brooks proof hide. This right here. It's like, it's like lotion. It's like lotion for your seat. You gotta apply it like once every two months because it's leather. Um, if you ride a lot, you probably are gonna have to apply it even more. Maybe once or twice a month. Um, all you have to do is uh, you take it and you just rub it in kind of like lotion. I mean, when you, like right now you could tell that it doesn't have any on there cause it's kind of, it's ashy basically, ashy. So you put that on there, it'll make it look nice and moist. And then you put some under, on, underneath. You gotta put some underneath too. But I do this once a month. So this is a must, you, you gotta do this. Don't get your seat wet. If you get your seat wet, you're gonna have issues. You're gonna have major issues. Um, they're delicate, but they will last a long time. But um, the proof hide, it's like a dressing, and you gotta use it. So to show you guys the difference, both B17s, the only difference, has the slit very painful for this one to be broken in 200 miles at least for it to be broken in and this one I don't think there's gonna be any break-in period so let's get this bad boy on
I guess I'll rock this one. Shit. That looks so good. So good. Make sure you line these up.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it feels good, guys. Big difference. Big difference than having a brand new B17 uh, non-imperial without the cutout seat. This feels good. I wish I would've known about this one before I bought the other one, but the other one's broken in now, so it's not a big deal. But this feels way better than a regular B17. Wait, is it B17 or B16? B17. Yeah, B17 Imperial with the slit. See those hydros? I gotta get used to them all over again. You just tap that thing, man, and they're so strong. Just drops the front wheel quick. That's why I like stock V brakes. My stock V brakes, you squeeze them, you ain't dropping that wheel because they're not that great, which is good. These are these are what you call touchy brakes. Hydros are touchy, touchy brakes. So yeah, make sure you guys use the proof hide. Don't go to AutoZone trying to find some Armor All leather spray. No. Spend the 10 bucks. It'll last you a long time, at least a year or, or longer. It's well worth it to get that, uh, that proof hide and just have the right stuff. So once you got your seat all set up, I suggest that you guys do this like before you go to sleep. Um, you want it to sit overnight and just marinate, you know what I'm saying? Marinate. You don't want to do this and then go hop on your bike and go ride it, you know what I'm saying? Do it before you go to bed or whatever. Or if you're after a ride out, you're done riding your bike. And grease this bad boy up. Remember, I only do this once a month. Once a month is enough for a weekend warrior. My bikes are pretty much weekend warriors. We ride on the weekend because during the week, I work. And when I get home, I am really like, you know what? I want to lay down. So that's that's it. And look how much is left. Like this, dude. This will probably last two years. Ten bucks. Brooks proof proof hide. Amazon. Get you a can. And that's it. Now you see how how slick it looks now. Just take care of your seats. These seats will last years, guys. 20 years. It's leather. It'll last a long time. 
same thing. Remember to do the top and underneath. That's it. This stuff spreads really good. It's like cocoa butter. Spreads really good. Another thing, guys, I suggest you do is buy a seat cover because those beach rides, when you're when you're towing your your bike to the beach, the air has a lot of moisture. You do not want water on your seat. So always run one of these, and then when you get to the beach, take it off, then your ass covers the seat, right? Right. So yeah, get you a seat cover, avoid moisture, avoid riding in the rain. If you have to ride in the rain, just put another seat on. <laughs> just put another seat on, guys. I'm sure you got extra. So yeah. That's the Brooks B-17, and the other one was the Brooks B-17 Imperial. My choice, now that I have both, Brooks Imperial. That's the way to go, guys. That is the way to go. All right. 